All right, hey, Tyler here. Welcome to the video. Today I wanna to talk about masculine and feminine energy. Now, no matter what you believe, whether it's like male, female, we're not talking about male, female. We're actually talking about masculine, feminine energy and the perceptions that we have around these ideas or these energies. So a lot of times when I've talked about this, people get triggered or reactive because they have their idea of masculine, feminine, or male, female. I'm gonna invite you just to open your mind. No matter what your past perception is, be open to a new way of looking at it. And if it serves you, awesome, implement it. If it doesn't, then don't, right? But if it triggers you or makes you feel an emotion, realize that that is simply a perception based on your past. And if you change that perception or change how you react to that perception, you may actually create more abundance in your life, okay? So I've taught this to a lot of people. This is also one of the most uh, triggered topics that I talk about. So if you do get triggered, realize that there's something in your past that if you addressed and changed, you could see this without getting reactive and you could listen to it and you could acknowledge it, whether you agree with it or not, it doesn't matter, but that you could at least see it and get value from something that is said today. Okay, so some context. I grew up, and I grew up, woo! No, so I, back before I grew up, my mom went through, uh, when my parents got a divorce, I was at age 12. During that time, I saw some patterns that didn't quite serve me. And I saw them in my dad and my mom. Now, some context. I love my dad, I love my mom, they're amazing, we have a great relationship, we talk about this stuff all the time, and they are actively changing, and they have changed hugely today. So these are the past perceptions, okay? So not to dishonor my parents, but to actually honor them and thank them for what they've taught me, okay? Good. So with that, I my parents got a divorce. I was 12 years old, and I watched my mom go through three more divorces, my dad through another. And the whole time, I had this question of like, why? Why does this happen? What is the phenomena that makes two people not be able to stay together? And as I started to learn about some different pieces, this helped me understand it. This helped me understand, more importantly, me. So I too was scared. I was terrified to get into a relationship with a girl because I just knew deep down inside I was gonna screw it up. I was just gonna totally wreck it. And I was gonna go through a divorce and I was terrified to do that. I did not wanna go through a divorce. It's, it was, it hurt, it was awful as a kid watching and over and over and over and I was just like, wow, this sucks, like it is not fun. So I realized this and I thought, well, why does this happen? Like what's inside of dad, what's inside of mom that causes this? And I didn't want to judge them as much as I wanted to analyze some of the phenomena here. So I watched my dad, he's a healer. He has a great clinic and heals a lot of people. My mom, she had a lot of sicknesses, a lot of illnesses that didn't tend to get healed. So what happened, dad, he's this healer guy. He's super good at what he does, super caring, super compassionate. And as he's healing other people, struggling in the house, not having good relationship, not feeling like he can really help, not feeling very action oriented, not feeling also struggling some financially, so not feeling very driven, not being able to create what he wants, having all these phenomena. So what it does is he tends to go into a negative energy state where withdrawals and then becomes addicted to certain frequencies and pornography and certain things that take him out of his essence of game. And I watched this and I didn't know about it at the time until I asked him and talked about it. And I saw this pattern and I, I had this question like, what, what's going on? And then my mom, so she sees this and so she gets, gets more bold, more strong, more like, I gotta do this and like takes up the sword and yells and is super overbearing and just feels like super intense all the time. I'm like, oh man, like it feels like something's off. So I wanted to know, what is this that's off? And it came down to masculine feminine energy. Masculine. So there's 
it's it's not just masculine or feminine. There's two sides to each word. So masculine energy has two parts. One is the negative associations tied to masculinity. One is the positive associations tied to masculinity. And we all, male, female, have masculine, feminine energy. Think of yin and yang. But if the yin is too much and the yang is off, guess what? It turns into chaos and, and stuff, bad stuff happens. So this is kind of like that. Each masculine feminine has their own unique balance. So if, if a yin and a yang were, were here, so you, masculine energy would have its own just by itself. Okay, so here's its negative side, here's its positive side, or here, here's its balance, right? And too often we get into this, and this is what defines it. So it's like all dark and all dreary, and then there's very little uh, growth. And all of the feminine, too, has its own balance, okay? And these two together come, come together and also have their own unique balance. So the key here is balance, 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 balance. So if you feel like you're off balance, it might be because one of these things are off, okay? So my dad, what happened is he was in his, he's trying to be in his more masculine state. He wanted to be more determined, more result driven, get it done, never give up, strong, powerful, action taker. So, and now these aren't like hardcore, this is just masculine, this is, this is feminine. So be open to just changing some of these based on what they, what your definitions are. But the thing is, is masculine has positive attributes and it also has negative attributes that we get tied to it. Like angry, frustration, overbearing, withdrawing, forcing, prideful, fighting, those tend to be more negative masculine attributes. The positive masculine attributes are more action, like get it done, driven, result oriented. Uh, and it's, it's like this powerful force that can really create in a very strong, powerful way. So masculine, ideally for my dad, he wanted to be in this state. The problem was, is as he wasn't really stepping into his own power and not getting the results he wanted, not really feeling like he could get it done and had some health stuff where it affected his strength. So what happened is sometimes he'd go into the negative pieces where he'd get frustrated or angry or he'd withdraw. Now the problem with this is also when you get into where you're off balance here, it's also going to affect the feminine side of you, right? Because it's, it's all balance. It should be. But what happens is, so then we have this feminine side where feminine energy, the negative associations to feminine is like weak, also addicted, um, also uh, the scared, being abused, all these are negative associations to a feminine energy. It's like that weak, that like I can't stand for myself, I can't do anything. And a lot of times the, the addicted cycles people do is a negative feminine energy. The ideal feminine energy is receive. Receive, I before E except after C, something like that. So receive, and then you also receive, but you also just allow. So it's less work, it's focused, it's also powerful in its own way, but it's this receiving power, it's a drawing power. So if I'm off in my feminine energy, I know I am not receiving or allowing, I feel like I'm working too hard, then I know I'm not actually embracing my positive feminine traits. If I have all the things just happening to me all the time, it's just receiving, 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 and I'm like, wow, things are just falling into place, then I know I'm in a really strong feminine energy. If I'm out there and I'm getting things done and I'm accomplishing and receiving, I know I'm a good balance with masculine and feminine, okay? If, though, I feel scared and I feel weak and I feel like I just wanna go veg out, then I know I'm in a negative feminine energy. So why does this matter? Well, when I watched my dad and mom, I saw my dad, when he wasn't embracing his ideal masculine, he'd go into some of these patterns where he'd go into a negative feminine, 
which was more of the addicted, feeling a little weak, and scared. What happened to balance it in a marriage, my mom, her being her, she then took on the negative masculine association. Because she wasn't allowing, she wasn't just receiving, she wasn't being safe, she didn't feel safe. So then she didn't feel supported, which are all feminine attributes. And so what she did, she turned negative masculine. So now you have negative masculine and one in negative feminine, and then all hell breaks loose. So male backs down, female steps up, and they all are in this chaos bubble. And none of them feel good. Mom pulls up the pants, takes out the sword, and goes slays all the dragons. And like, I'm going to conquer the world. Dad withdraws, wondering what's going on. I'm trying my best. I'm really loving. I'm really meditating. Doing all these things. Healing. Another feminine attribute. Trying to balance by going more, more feminine, which is actually not what he needed to do. But he would go into all these techniques, which is like healing and nurturing. Right? So the problem was he was trying to balance with the wrong energy. So he had tried to go here, which just made him go more here. And my mom, she tried to become more masculine, but then dropped into the more negative masculine. So then there's chaos, separation, divorce, divorce, divorce. So I mapped this over the course of my mom, four divorces, and my dad, two, and I saw the same pattern in every single marriage. Boom, 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 boom. This was happening. This was a good thing for me because I learned when, as a healer, I was in a very feminine energy where I was also a massage therapist and I was trying to heal people and help people. I did a lot of techniques that were trying to receive and allow and focus and receive it and just have things happen. But I didn't embrace any of my masculine attributes of get it done, results, go confront, go like conquer, go, uh, go do all the positive masculine attributes. So because I didn't have a strong masculinity, I had more of a higher femininity and I was off. What I did is I had turned to more of a negative femininity where I became addicted to pornography, video games. I felt weak. I was scared. And I had all these negative feminine attributes. So then when I got married, <laughs> guess what? My wife, she, you tend to marry those who try to balance you, right? Or who are opposite. So my wife, she had been hurt and abused as, as, a, as a kid. So she believed feminine represented weak and scared and abused. So instead of trying to go more feminine, which would actually be the thing she needed to do to allow and to have and to be in her power and to heal in nature and nurture, she went more masculine, which was get it done, driven, like conquer, do all these things. But the problem is, is someone can only stay in the, the opposite energy for so long until they go into the negative energy of it to, to create balance. So then she went into the negative where she got angry, super frustrated, uh, withdrawing, not wanting to talk to people. So all these things started to happen to her. So guess what? She's in more of a negative masculine. I'm more of a negative feminine. Let's unite. Let's heal each other. Yay! And that did not work. So I had to, as a man, being me, I had to confront the thing I was avoiding the most, which was I had to try to embrace the ideal positive masculine. And by doing it, it gave her permission to allow herself to become into more of the ideal feminine. So again, not male, female, just the one that you're avoiding the most. So for me, I was avoiding being more masculine, so I needed to be more masculine. It just so happened to be that I'm a male. Now, my, feet, my wife, she was the opposite, yet just so happened that she was female, that she needed to embrace more femininity no matter what sex you are, you still need to embrace both feminine and masculine qualities. So it doesn't matter. That's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about sex here. We're talking about energy and the ability to balance and confront what you avoid. So if you're going through something in life and you feel off, usually it comes down to masculine, feminine balance. So those are good indicators. If I feel like I'm not getting results, I check my mask and I'm like, okay, am I doing all my energy? Am I like, am I going and doing it and confronting things? And then if I'm still not receiving results, then I check my feminine and say, okay, am I really in a state of just allowing and receiving and just being more than doing? Can I just receive by being? And sometimes if I go super, super masculine, I need to balance it by going more feminine and allowing myself to be nurtured and to be taken care of. 
and that helps me balance it out so that I don't feel too off balance. So hopefully this helps. I know this is a lot. Uh, I teach more of this in the 10 day challenge. There's a whole part on this and a whole worksheet you can go through to check like which one you're more off on. If this resonates with you, feel free to join the 10 day challenge. It's amazing. And the link is in the description. You can go through it. But uh, even if you don't go through that, I'm curious, what are your insights from watching this? What are you going to do differently? How does this help you? Because that at the end of the day, that's what this is about. How does this help you? I would love to read them in the comments. Negative, positive, positive, negative, feminine, masculine. How does that serve you? How can you do something or change something in your life to more embrace that? Again, in the challenge, we have ways of like mapping out which one's which and then how to balance them and things to do. So if you do want more on that, you can just click the link and check it out. Uh, otherwise, I'd love to hear your comments and how this serves you. Thanks so much. Go out, balance your life so that you can attain your goals in days instead of years.